How's it going, everybody? Uh, recently, it was brought up to me that I should put a background in my videos so it doesn't look like I'm making some kind of underground recruitment. I'm not quite sure what would give them that impression at all. Uh, so I actually thought a good background would be to make a green screen. Uh, that way I can pretty much pick any background I want during the, during the time I'm making my videos. Um, so I just bought some green fabric. I actually ended up getting this at Joann's and um, it wasn't too bad. It was like half off the original price. I still ended up paying like $16 for it. Uh, then I ended up going and getting some PVC pipe over at Home Depot um, and some little ends and pieces here so I can connect everything. Uh, this is for the frame, a little hacksaw. And just to make it a little quicker and easier, I am going to just use safety pins in the video, but I might end up sewing it or using some kind of clips or something. Um, that's pretty much all the items I needed to use to make the uh, project here. Um, you don't necessarily need to, but you can measure everything out. I did and then marked it all so I can cut it properly. Um, but you can kind of rough estimate and as long as you're using the two pieces that you're going to use for the sides, as long as you cut those together at the same length, you can pretty much make the same frame and then just cut the other PVC pipe uh, in half or in as many sections as you want. Those will be the middle sections to kind of support the frame. Um, and then any pieces left over you can use for the feet. Uh, so I already went ahead and marked these, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut them. Oh, and the reason I bought the hacksaw is because it was cheaper than the PVC cutter. But it also doesn't cut entirely straight, so I could <laughs> It's actually a pretty goofy trip going ahead and buying all the material because first I ended up going to Walmart um, and then picking out a green there. They went to go measure out as much as I needed and ended up coming up short. So we went through like four different rolls and they all were not long enough to get as much as I needed. That's why I ended up going to Joann's. Luckily it was on sale because it would have been like three times the price. I went online too and was looking at those to buy. And these are 90 degree elbows I'm just putting on the piece I cut in half so it's five feet long or, or wide. This will be the top piece here. I'm going to end up doing a center section as well. And I saw a few online that were actually about, say they were like right around $25 to 30 bucks. Mm. 
They were from, uh, they looked like they were about the same quality as the one I'm making here. There were a few more that were closer to probably like $100 that did seem to have a little bit better quality product. Now the green that they normally use is actually called chroma key, I believe, which is just like really a trademark color. Um, just makes it easy to use. Well, it turns out I actually did forget a measurement, so I will have to go get the measuring tape and do this one more time. Go ahead and pause it. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed a marker and measuring tape so I can get this done right. So I'm just measuring from the top of the hole where I'm going to put the feet to just the beginning of the elbow. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just mark it at the four foot line. Same thing on the other side. Guess I don't really need to go all the way up. Four feet, done. Hexar. Just throw it. Throw it? Yeah, just grab it and throw it. Don't cut yourself. And I guess you could use PVC glue, but because I want to be able to disassemble it, I'm not going to do that. This did, at the end of the day, end up costing me a full $35. Actually, more like $37. So it was a little bit more expensive than the cheaper ones, but I did get it today so I don't have to wait for shipping. It's really up to you which works better for you. Let's go ahead and put these in front, see how it stands up. I got a ceiling fan. Pause it again. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like I'm actually going to have to take it apart in half and see if I can't build it together like half <laughs> assembled here.
Boom, son. That's actually a literal statement because my son is actually holding the camera. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't uh, have to use that word, seeing as the original statement I made at the beginning of the video. <laughs> it is a little bit wobbly. So we will see what happens once the fabric gets on there. I'm going to go ahead and cut off about six inches here and see if that doesn't stabilize it a little bit. Put them in the back of the little three-way connector I have. And it's three-quarter inch PVC as well. Follow me with the camera. You're not supposed to exist. It's not supposed to move. <laughs> not because he's illegitimate, but because I was supposed to have a stand by now. <laughs> yeah, be more professional. Oh, didn't think that through either. Oh, wow, is it taller than I thought? Something's not measured right here. Let's see. Go ahead and pause again. <laughs> 